Hey guys, welcome to episode number 169. Today is Wednesday, so it's DIY Wednesday. And I wanted to show you guys a little project I've been working on. Um, as you know, uh, I've had plans to build an auto doser, and uh, I, I did build one uh, a f like a year ago, and uh, it, it was all right, but it leaked a little bit. And uh, the biggest problem with it was uh, it was just a little bit too unreliable. Um, the, the flow rate wasn't accurate enough. And uh, I did use that to dose fertilizers uh, with my mangroves. Uh, but now uh, I wanted to do something a little bit bigger and a little bit better and uh, use this to actually dose uh, prime. And um, essentially what I'm doing is creating a backup, uh, a fail safe, a plan B if you will, uh, for my water that's going to be dripping into uh, the, my system. Uh, so, freshwater system, uh, it has chloramine in it, and uh, I have the three-stage chloramine filter downstairs, which should take out, you know, 99% of uh, that chloramine in the water. Uh, but if for whatever reason uh, that fails, uh, or if it stops working, uh, I do have this backup, and uh, this should really help, uh, you know, keep my uh, system up and running, tip-top shape, and uh, make sure that I have no uh, catastrophic uh, disasters in terms of uh, chloramine. So, uh, what I have here is called a peristaltic pump, and uh, if you can see, it's running very slowly. In fact, this is the 3 RPM, I believe. Uh, and so it's, it's uh, turning very, very slowly and what's happening is actually uh, as this is turning, if you see on the side here, it's squeezing this tubing. It's a noroprene tube, I believe it's called. Uh, it's a plastic that I guess uh, has a very long life and uh, essentially what this is doing is it's squeezing the tube uh, continuously and what that's doing is allowing uh, this side to suck up liquid at a very slow rate uh, but a very uh, calculated rate, something that's very easy to measure and uh, something that will always be consistent and then what it does is it spits that um, that fluid out this other end and uh, it's just going into this bucket right now so uh, I just turned this on uh, it doesn't actually have any liquid in here yet because it's still sucking the water very slowly up uh, and around this pump. Uh, but essentially what I did here was I grabbed the five gallon bucket and uh, this is uh, you know the, the one uh, with the, uh, the measurements on the side and uh, it also comes, actually you have to buy it separately, but there's a, uh, a screw on lid here uh, which has, does have a rubber gasket uh, so that is airtight and uh, that was one thing I was looking for to reduce or eliminate the evaporation uh, out of this bucket but essentially what I did uh, was I filled this five gallons full of water and what I'm going to do is actually add uh, a set amount of prime uh, to this water and uh, then I'll have my my mixture and um, essentially what that worked out to here was five gallons of water and 160 um, milliliters of uh, prime, I believe. So not quite all of this bottle, uh, but quite a bit of it. And uh, what that's going to do is kind of, you know, be suspended uh, in this in this five gallon bucket. I do have a little pump that I can put in here, a little circulation pump to keep that suspended. Uh, I talked to the people from Prime, and they said I don't even need the. Uh, the circulation pump so I'm debating whether or not I want to cut another hole uh, in this lid for uh, for that power cord or not uh, but what I have is uh, basically a reservoir uh, of my prime mixture and uh, very very diluted uh, as you know prime uh, works wonders and uh, I think it's one milliliter treats 10 gallons of water uh, so if I have 40 gallons of water dripping in per day uh, I'm also going to be dripping uh, a very small amount of, of uh, liquid uh, into the tank to, uh, to help neutralize uh, the chloramine in that water that's being dripped into the system. And uh, I did all that math out and, and so that just turned out to be five gallons of water 
to 160 milliliters of prime and that's actually a double dose uh, which is okay um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go with a full double dose or if I'm going to go with uh, a little bit less because uh, this five gallon bucket will last for about 20 days uh, until it's emptied. Uh, this pump actually does about one liter per day, a little bit less than one liter per day. And so that'll give me you know, about 20 days per bucket here. You see I've got two buckets so I can mix up um, you know, over a month's worth of, uh, of liquid at a time uh, to dose into my system. And basically all I'm going to do is uh, set that over in the corner back there, uh, dosing into my sump tank, and uh, then I should be good. I mean, it gives me the peace of mind that I need to make sure that I don't lose everything uh, from some stupid little mistake. And, uh, you know, I guess I just don't trust uh, the chloramine filter 100% uh, to, uh, to do its job and uh, so this is kind of my fail safe so um, these peristaltic pumps uh, I believe it comes from a company called APT Instruments and uh, they're actually fairly cheap they're very inexpensive uh, you can kind of select the RPM of the motor uh, the size of the tubing I believe this is the 1 8 inch which is the same size as an airline tubing uh, but what I have here is the the 1 8 inch um, uh, what do you call it uh, tubing for uh, uh, your drip systems actually it's the smaller diameter tubing uh, that you can buy and so I use that because it's black instead of clear so it should keep the algae problems down and uh, yeah I mean I don't think this is going to get enough light to cause any problems uh, with no air and no circulation you know it, it should be okay and that will just continuously uh, pump water very slowly uh, up through that uh, peristaltic pump and then uh, and then out into my sump tank and uh, I don't have to worry uh, it can pump it uh, up it can pump it down without causing a siphon uh, because it's very regulated uh, it will always drip the same amount because this motor is just going very slow and uh, you know with that you know I get my uh, my set amount of liquid uh, people use these a lot in the saltwater hobby. Uh, people don't use them quite as often in the freshwater hobby, but they're used a lot in the medical setting, uh, you know, chemistry labs and, and whatnot. So, uh, you know, whenever you're dealing with liquids and precise dosing, uh, this is what you want. And, uh, you know, it, it was fairly cheap, and I think it's actually going to do a very, very good job. So, uh, that's essentially what I've done here. It came with the... Uh, uh, the cord already attached. Uh, you can buy it with or without a casing that goes around it. I bought it without and all I did was slapped it on the top of this bucket and uh, drilled a hole here uh, for my my line and uh, that's about it. Bought the bucket and mixed up uh, the prime uh, into the water. So uh, if you guys are interested in dosing liquids into your aquariums uh, go check out the link in the description of this video and I'll link you to the exact pump model that I bought here as I said it doses about one liter per day and uh, with that this five gallon reservoir will last me uh, about 20 days uh, at my drip rate uh, for my system so anyways guys uh, I hope you guys enjoyed hope you learned a little something and I'll see you guys later